How many sermons did this man listen to? One? It was a song service. Oh yes! Praise and worship. How many Bible studies did this man listen to? And, and wait a while. How many did the family listen to? None preacher. Is the point me? For sure. Now watch this. Now Jesus also gave an answer to the question, what must I do to be saved? In Matthew 19, 16, the Bible says that a rich young ruler came to Jesus and asked him a question. 19 and 16. What does it say, reader? And behold, one what? came uh -huh. and said unto him, What is the question? Good master, uh -huh. Go ahead. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Now, it's the same question, isn't it? Slightly differently worded, but it's the same question. What must I do to be saved? Yeah. Listen to what Jesus said in Matthew 19, 17. If thou wilt enter into life, yes. everybody of love, keep the commandments. Now wait a while. The Apostle Paul says, belief. Yes. Jesus adds to that. Belief and keep the commandments. Yes, sir. Are you with me tonight? Oh, yeah. I'm going somewhere. There are four answers in scripture. Yes. Keep the commandments. Now, in case you are wondering, what was Jesus talking about? Because there are preachers who tell us that Jesus abolished the commandments. Yes. Now, Jesus told the man, if he wants to get eternal life, keep the commandments. I didn't say that. Jesus said that. Yes, sir. And tonight you may be wondering, what did Jesus mean? But you don't have to wonder anymore. Verse 18 and 19, the same chapter. Matthew 19, 18 and 19, Jesus said, He said unto him, this is Jesus speaking. Oh, sorry, the man said to Jesus, Rich! Jesus responds and says, category, what does he say? Thou shalt do no murder. Stop. Where does that statement come from? The pen. Yes, sir. What else did Jesus say? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Where does that statement come from? The Ten Commandments. The and Jesus went on to say, Don't steal. True. Don't lie. Yeah. Do you see it there? Yeah. Yes. It is true that he did not call all ten. No. But he is clearly referencing and sampling the Ten Commandments as the standard by which a person may enter into life. That's the word, preacher. Are you hearing what I'm saying tonight? Yes. Paul says, believe on Jesus. Jesus says, keep the commandments. Yes, sir. And he samples the pen yes, yes, to sure. tell us what he is referencing. For sure. Is that clear to everybody? Yes. Now watch this, watch this. The psalmist already told us the law of the Lord is perfect. Why would you want to abolish a perfect thing? True. Oh, you saw the woman that I live in with tonight. Come on, preacher. Why would I want to get rid of her? Hmm. Anybody listen to what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. yes. Why? You have something good. Oh, yeah. Why? That's the question. Why? <laughs> Why would you want to get rid of it? The Bible says he that fight with a wife. Yeah. And it's a good thing. You are a good thing. Yes. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Come on, preacher. She knows me. I'm no different when she ain't here than when she is here. Yes, sir. She knows me. The law of the Lord is what? Perfect. You don't abolish something that perfect. And then Matthew comes. Jesus comes in Matthew 5, 17 and 18 and says, Do not think. That I came to destroy the law or all the prophets. Yes. I did not come to destroy, but to do what? Fulfill. Are you getting it tonight? Yes. Jesus goes on to continue to speak in verse 18. For assuredly I say to you, go on, brother Gore. Till heaven and earth pass away, uh -huh. one jump or one tittle, not one tittle. Will by no means pass from the law until all is fulfilled. Until all 
is fulfilled. And in John, this same Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So the answer that Jesus gives is keep commandments. Yes, sir. Now watch this. James 2.10 says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law, yes. and yet offend in one point, oh, yes. is guilty of all. So we must keep oh, all of them. Yes. So, so far we had Paul's answer. We had Jesus' answer. Now we get Peter's answer. Peter's 